And good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you are tuned in from. This is um, take number two with Eric Sermon for my What Now series. So let's hope he'll be here, but he will be because I spoke to him earlier. So uh, I hope everyone um, is still able to join me today because <laughs> yesterday it was a it was a pretty full house already in the first minute. So hopefully people will join and saw that it was rescheduled to today. I'm very excited to finally speak to him. Uh, as I said yesterday, I have had many conversations with him and he has so much knowledge and information to give out that I definitely didn't want to deprive people from um, getting that information, especially in these times. I mean, this talk has been set up to motivate and inspire people in times of Corona and uh, everything that's going on in the world. So uh, we need inspiration, we need motivation. There's lots of guests that have been giving us that. And now I'm <clears throat> waiting on Eric to come find me and join me in this live. Um, thank you all for coming in. I hope everyone is doing well, that you're safe and sound and hopefully still have a job and an income. <laughs> Uh, as I said, uh, I started this during the pandemic or at the start of the pandemic and we thought it was going to go away and people were telling me, please keep continuing these lives with these guests to inspire people, even if the pandemic is gone. But we are looking at a uh, second uh, lockdown, actually. So, yeah, not good, but it does mean that I will keep continuing these talks. So... If you have suggestions for guests, feel free to send them through. <clears throat> Let's hope Eric is ready to jump in. I said three o'clock my time, uh, his time, and nine p.m. my time. Yesterday it was a time mix-up, uh, so I hope he can join me. I was just on the phone with him, so he should be there. Yep, there he goes. Let me get him in here. <clears throat> awesome. All right then, we're getting this party going. <laughs> Finally. Hey, hey, what's up? What's going on? You good? Can you How you me? doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm good. I can hear you. Okay, cool. I'm doing good. Thank you for being here. Wait, you said you 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 got your hair done and everything. What happened? Where's why the why you got no, no, I, 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 was, I, was, I, I was playing about that. I, I don't have no hair to get done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, good to see you, man. How are you doing? How are you holding up during this pandemic? Yeah, you know, things are good. You know, like I said for you know, I, I um, this is the circumstances. Things is kind of cool. I mean, I mean, like I said, for you home with your family, you, you know, you got to do what you have to do to make sure you're safe. Right. But other than that, though, I mean... It was kind of normal for me, you know. I'm I'm old now, so I mean, I'm I'm home anyway. So whatever, you know. you're not old. Um, I yeah. was I was telling people that <clears throat> the conversations that you and I have had in the past have always been so full of knowledge and information, not just about the industry, but just in general. That I really right. felt that you were needed as a guest on this this live that I started uh, to motivate and inspire people because I don't want to deprive them of your knowledge. So it's right. going to be uh, a few questions where uh, where we would just love to see and hear your insight on that. Um, okay. Yeah. So you saying you're you're staying home because you're old. What what has been the effects of the pandemic for you personally or professionally, if there have been any? Well, personally, just seeing family. As far as um, you know, my mother has um. A underlying condition with, with her lungs already so you know but we still saw her on the 4th of july but you know i usually would see more of her right but now, you know you can't so that's really my main thing is just family again thanksgiving is coming up and we always have a big thanksgiving but this year we're not going to do it this year because of the fact that you know you can't take a chance you right. know yeah it's it's the same for me i i go see my mom but we're at a distance and then when things died down over here on this side in Amsterdam, uh, we were hugging again. And now we now we're not supposed to do anything anymore because we're going into a second lockdown. It's yeah. crazy. Um, and we're going to another lockdown. 
Well, you know, it's it's just the the cases are going up. So now, actually, Amsterdam is, no way. is is Amsterdam is marked red. So you can't leave wow. or come into Amsterdam un unless it's absolutely necessary. And wow. so I'm not even supposed to leave the city at this point. So wow. um, yeah, that's insane to me because you know I travel a lot. So I do miss seeing my family and friends overseas. I'm always in the states visiting them. And so the family aspect is definitely hitting hard over here as well. Okay. Yeah. So how about professionally? Did, did it have any effect on you business-wise? Because a lot of people are, you know, now suddenly home. They can't go on tour. They can't record in studios. They, it's just there's a lot of shutdown yeah. in the entertainment industry. Yeah. I, I never, you know what? You know, Mary, I'm, I wasn't really a big tourer right. to begin with. And I always have my own studio, so I'm still able to do. That's where I'm at now. I'm in my lab now. As a matter of fact, I just built a new one, so so I'm in it right now doing construction. But um, but um, I never yeah, professionally didn't stop because I wasn't. I'm not that type of artist. Right. And I know that for other artists, that's their livelihood, it's not my livelihood. Yeah. And and I and I pray to God that things went another way where I was a record producer. So um, me producing. Um, it was able to have me being able to be comfortable, yeah. Because I, I produce so many records, so that's I live off of publishing, you know, like everybody else should too, right? You know, but but the contract wasn't made for everybody, and everybody situations are different. But mine just happened to be, um, you know, the other way around, where I was able to, at this time, when things happen like this, you know, what I'm saying I was okay. Yeah. Yeah, I spoke to uh, a lot of different creative people and the producers are probably the most comfortable in this situation because they're always locked up in their studio. They're not really dealing with people unless they're coming in to, uh, to record. So it's le it had less of an effect to their work than actual touring artists. Yeah, touring artists, I, 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 listen, man, I pray for the new and the old because yeah. I, they never thought that something like this would happen. That's why they have to understand how much ownership means and how yeah. much being independent means. Yeah. Because of things like this, because the norm might not be the norm. We don't know. Yeah. But you, you know, to be able to count on, which is something that was just normal, which was just touring. Yeah. When you know, whenever you felt like it, it was there. Yeah. You know, um, special appearances at clubs, people making forty racks, fifty racks. For appearances, that was there. Yeah. So imagine, so you have to, you know, you try to pray hard for those people because that's a big thing that that COVID really messed up a lot of people. Yeah, definitely. And that's, that's exactly why I started this live to um, give people somewhat of a, a relief to see that everybody's going through it, whether you're big or small or touring or yeah. not touring. Everyone is hit yeah. with the same thing everywhere in the world. And, in the world. and so it's great to exchange ideas and and just you know brain waves to see how yeah. people are now coming up with solutions and creative uh, solutions to find ways of income that can exist next to what we call the normal if it comes back um, and that's really a challenge for people to stay creative and stay motivated so yeah. I've been talking to people that have given us ideas and what they're doing and what they're focusing on and um one of the things is personal health mentally yes. and physically mm. um are there well for you there hasn't there hasn't been a much much of a change but are there things that you are now focusing on more because of what's going on yeah i think that again um definitely talking because this right here is a you see everybody's doing it. it doesn't matter how big or small you are everybody is so so called now is a is a is a is a host you know what i mean yeah but um it's helping them them too because some of them are able to um use the internet you have to find the new means now to make income which is the money is still there it's just the fact that how you choose to get out of the person that's watching you yeah. and then those people that choose to spend it where they want to spend it at. Yeah. Um, but you, but I would advise everyone to to um, get more in tune and more involved in how the internet is, is, is ran, like like Gary B and them saying and everybody else that's being able to take the internet and make 
and make a masterpiece of it because yeah. this is the new norm. And it was going to be the norm back then anyway. But right now, people that you never heard of and seen before are multimillionaires off the web. So if you have a name, you're supposed to be able to yeah. navigate and make money. Yeah. No matter, you know, because right now you're not home. So what do you do with your name and your platform for you to, to make money? Your fans are still there. So yeah. I advise those to come up with something to... Um, like people are doing these live streams and all, it's the same thing, yeah. you know, you don't have to have your fans, only fans be about sex and whatever. <laughs> you, can, you can use yours for, for beats, for features, for, you know, um, live, live performances between you and your fans, yeah. you know, find a way to use the web, why it's free. That's a, that's a good one, because I never heard of that whole uh, website before until all of this happened. And right. um, well, you know that I've been, you know, be, I've been a journalist, music journalist for about 15, 20 years now. And I never really did interviews much anymore because the people that would tour over here weren't coming anymore. Right. Um, and so now this was an opportunity for me to also get back to my first love, which is talking to people right. and getting information out. And it's right. actually been a blessing to me, even though it was just a, a little brain fart that I had in the middle of the night. Yeah, but, but, see, but see, even you, yeah. it took you a minute knowing that this is what you did the first yeah. time, but it took you a while to say, wait a minute, it's the same shit. Yeah. I don't know why, but see how it, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Find a way to transform into this new way of, yeah. of, of norm and, and use the internet and use what you've been doing, and it took you a while to catch it, but you caught it. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it. it's not too late for everybody. Listen, it takes it takes a while to realize. Damn. Okay, well, nobody's coming to get me. That's first right. of all. Well, people to understand that there's no disrespect from people who you know, people you love, no, your family, no. the artists. They're not coming. Everybody got their own shit to deal with. They got now. their own. Yeah. They got their own. They're not coming. Yeah. You have to find a way. Yeah. And it's now actually easier to reach other people because everybody's home. Everybody's on their phone. So normally they'd be out and about doing their tours, meeting up, doing whatever. And now it's easier to reach people. So this is for me the time to grab the opportunities to work with people or reach out to people. Uh, because you don't need to be literally in the studio anymore. Of course, we prefer it to make the magic, right. but you don't have to be together in the same space. You can be on the other side of the world to make music together. Right. Um, so for right. me, yeah. I mean, we, uh, we've been doing that for years now, as far as um, nobody's really coming right. to do face to face all through the, you know, as far as, uh, as, far as the internet downloads, um, through through you know Gmail or right. or, 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 no, or, no. Um, or you send it or you know whatever nobody really comes no more and sits in front of you. Yeah. You know, I mean that's been a before this happened, yeah, this is how it was more. Even people yeah, that not even more yeah, yeah, people that coming. didn't like it are now forced to, to work that way. And uh, that's right. yeah, that's just that's just the new Oh, a lot of people way. don't like it. I talk to DMX don't like it like that. They want to, Nori doesn't like it. People, right. I, I, thought it was, I thought it was just my era, but they don't want to, they want to be in front of you. They don't want to be, um, send stuff through the mail. They don't want that. They want to be like in front. Yeah, right. That's the Creating. old school for real. You know, <laughs> creating, you know? Yeah. So talking about the industry now, having the, the, to do it, do it all in a new way. We come up, well, you're a little bit older than me, but we both come up from the analog era and have seen the transformation to the digital era, uh, but also coming from a label era to a, an independent era where there's so much yeah. more opportunities right now for artists to do right. things without labels. How, what is your take on staying independent versus still trying to sign with a label, especially in these days because you don't really need yeah. a label anymore? That was a good question. Let me go back to the analog thing because it seemed like you was had a wire in my studio because me and my boy were just talking about, um, I was playing old records, you know, off of YouTube. And I was like, sonically, I was like, damn, these records sound amazing. And I'm like, I keep forgetting about the two-inch reel. Right. About the analog gear, how warm it was. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, how do we, you know, I'm tired of um, mixing in the box because right. that's the normal. You know, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to have my stuff warm and round again. So that's, 
another whole subject about right. that. But no, but I agree. But I agree with you. I hear what like, <laughs> yeah, I heard Steve Stout saying that because he had United Masters, and his company gives you a lot to be have all that freedom. Yeah, as far as you to upload your own and be and you be your own boss in the whole nine. As far as like you going through a Spotify or going through whatever, but United Masters like having a label online that you own, but you're just going through Steve Stout's situation. Right. What he said was, it's a bad loan, pay. Yeah. It's, it's like the worst interest loan you can ever get. And we have to wake up from that. I don't know if you, if you know if you go to a Big Sean's concert, there's no merchandise there. Right. You know why? It doesn't own it. Right. You go to the movie Bird or any one of the new ones, they don't have merchandise. They don't own it, so they can't sell it. Right. Meanwhile, with the new contract deals, you don't own your own likeness. So you can't use yeah. your name. It's ridiculous. You can't use it. So now that other money you would use to to to, to sell your likeness, you can't even make that money yeah. at this time. So now what? Yeah. So that 360 is for if you want to be famous, I get it. And it it worked for mad people because these young kids were rich on uh a special appearances, yeah. walkthroughs, shows. But now what? You can't even so, do anything anymore. Yeah. Like the new norm is gonna have to have you like I feel sorry for Tory Lanez because this was one person who was huge and independent. Right. That's the goal. The goal is your know, if Drake go independent, the whole music industry will be shut down. Yeah. You know why? Because if somebody that big does that, then nobody's gonna go to a label no more right. ever in history. They're gonna follow so, what he does. So, so, so you got to understand that how powerful you are as the artist if you believe in yourself. That's the key. You know, you, you, That's the key. You, you had the Young and Maze. You had those other people like um, Macklemore and them. People who had backing, Chance the Rapper. People who had yeah, backing. I was going to say Chance, yeah. Do, do cost money now. That's money about independent. A, a record label pay is only a bank with a bad business loan. Yeah. But the fact that you don't have it that's why we had to go. Right. Even Michael Jackson. Come on, at the end of the day, Michael Prince was the first one to talk about it with Londo McMillan, his black lawyer. Yeah. He was the first one to go independent and put the sign on the side of his face. So yeah. this right here was something that we was, it was already done before, and Prince tried to tell us before. Yeah, he was trying to let us know. Yeah. So to answer your question, yeah, it's best to be independent. But with independent comes money. Well, there's ways to there's ways to get money without being stuck in a label signing away all your of rights. Course. And there's I also would... uh, what I always advise my artists is to get a solid team. If you have a solid team, you don't need the label. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. What? Yo, God is amazing because this is all we've been speaking about the whole week. Same is what you said. Forget about you chasing the bag first. Surround yourself around a dope yeah, team. You gotta have your team. And once you have the right team, yeah. you can conquer the world. Exactly. When Steve Jobs, when Steve Jobs had his boys, Steve yeah. didn't know that much. He knew what he wanted to do. Exactly. But the four guys that was with him is who he kept hiring when he got fired. Yeah. Surround yourself around the team. And once you have that, you can conquer the planet. Yeah. And I will say this: I had a talk with um rapper Shauna uh, a couple months ago. And she was saying, don't always bring up your, your homies with you because you need to have people that actually know what to do in their role as your team. You can't just always put your that. friends in those positions because you're friends because that's I your know. career. You got to separate your personal from your career because you can't have uh, uh, people that don't know handling your business. So right. that is something that, that you have to learn to separate. If we talk about team, we talk about team of professionals and experts that know what they're doing in their role. Yeah. And they could be yeah, friends, it's, but it also it's not, be. it's not an easy task. Yeah. LeBron, LeBron was able to do something very special. He taught his boys the business. Right. And now his right. boys is the business. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you can get that part going, because I want my friends too, or, or, or people who love me as much as right. I can, but if they the job I'm not hiring. Exactly. But, but but you always put your boys on because it's something you do. Yeah. But we learn. That's why you got 
you asking the question and us talking so the person watching don't make that mistake right. in the future. Exactly. You, listen, you go to a big firm, a big firm, the boss, he hires intelligent people yeah. to make his company run. He don't hire his boys. <laughs> he hire people that is qualified for the job that make his, his company top 500. Exactly. Not friends. That's, that's how it works. And you can still have your, your boys back or your homies back, but in a different way yeah. than having to come, you yeah. know, join your career if they don't know nothing. And, yeah. and they can learn, like you said, but don't put people in places, you know, handling your career and your business when you know that they're not qualified to do so. Because you would never do that. Right. It's a business, you know, and, and that's something. Exactly, that though, because everybody's, we always young. We <laughs> always young. Like people told us things, but not everything, man. So everybody, learned and hopefully yes. they got it like when i got older i got older yes. like i didn't I, I did not not i didn't leave my 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 young self behind right like i got older oh no and i learned this game but this you know what i mean thing. everybody but. makes mistakes in order to learn you have to go through certain things in this industry in every industry to learn and to apply what you've been through um which brings me to my next question. What do you consider your biggest mistake, but also your biggest lesson in your career? What, what, what was that? You know what? I can't say it's a mistake because you know why? Because I can keep going back to it's you have lesson. to learn. It's a lesson. Yeah. Yes, yeah, a lesson being learned. But at the end of the day, I, out of coming out of EPMD, I learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, Holy shit, like what? Like, you know, take care of your business. Right. Because at the end of the day, it's like, yo, it seemed like every rap duel like have problems in hip hop. Yeah. Every last one of us. The same thing. Yeah. Only about financials. So at the end of the day, I just learned. I learned at the end of the day, like, yo, this is all it's fucked up, pay, but it's a business. Yeah, it is a business. Like, even though you you have love, people. You got love for the music. You got love for this game. And everybody Passion. has that same concept. Yo, I love what I do. But then once the years start going by, and you're like, holy shit, I got to make this album to get the budget. I got to make this type of record because this is what the label want. I got to do the booze yeah. and that. that. And I gotta, everything is business. Because if you don't, then you're gone. Yeah. And that's, you point that's one of the things as well. People don't understand that you're the head of your business. It's your brand. You are the brand if you're an artist. Yeah. And you can't put people in charge of your brand without knowing your own vision, without knowing where you yeah. want to go, without instructing them how to go where you want to go. And that's Some of us are strong enough to know that. And, and that's why those that we negotiate or was able to hold yeah. that, but hey, it's only a few, man. This is a major label. Yeah. They'd they be like, oh, you want to do what? Okay, bye-bye. Well, right, right. So you got to be careful the, 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 the step you make and be able to step out and, and then, again, go back to believing in yourself. Yeah. I'm going to win because I am the star. I, yeah. I, this, is, this is my brand. But that's exactly what I mean. Like, without a label, being independent, you as the head of your team, as the, the, the CEO of your company, your, your artistry, your career, you have to know where you want to go and how you want to get there. You can instruct your team on, on how to do that because if not everybody knows what you're doing, then we're all just doing something and your company is not running yeah. smoothly. Yeah. And that's what I mean with um, not just putting somebody in charge, whether it's a manager or, or a lawyer or whoever, uh, you, you need to be in charge of what what it is that you want to do, what it is that your goal is. And, and I'm glad we had this convo because, you know, you want to reiterate to hear it again, but you t having this convo with me, it, it makes me want to hear it again. And those that are watching too, I know we're inspiring somebody too, because right. it's inspiring me to hear us, our convo, to make sure that I don't fall and be like, yo, don't ever forget that this is your destiny. Yeah. You got one life to live, so live it. But understand, but live it your way, though. Yeah, that's and that's. Live it your way. Don't you? Do you feel like you've been doing that, or was there a shift? Like you said, when you came out of EPMD, you feel like okay, yeah. I gotta change things. No, no, you. You know what? You're right, but I think like um, 
When I was with Clive Davis, I, I think that that part was a great time, you know, with the, just like music and react and the whole nine. Then I started again, you know, listening. Like you kind of fall back and I fell back into people telling me what yeah. to do. So, and I kind of lost the way. That's why I was gone for 12 years. Right. Because I was like, you know, um, you know, maybe I said, maybe I said, I did everything in music. I, I, I was successful since 1988. Right. Like, I was like, you know, what do I else want to do? I produced everybody in hip hop, half of R&B music. I'm like, you know, what, where's my inspiration coming from? Yeah. Exactly. And then the new era came in, which was Cash Money, um, 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 No Limit, and then uh, Rockefeller, you know, uh, Murder, Inc. So mm -hmm. everything was evolving. Not saying I couldn't evolve with it, because I showed that when right. I came out in 2001 and 2002, I was able to evolve with it. But it seemed like I was by myself, kind of. Yeah. And, 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 um, and the South was just like they are now, reigning supreme. Yeah. So, you know, I just felt like I, I, I fell back, you know. Are you in Atlanta right now? No, I'm in New York now. I just came up from Atlanta. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. Um, yeah. So where do you feel you are now? You know, mentally? Oh, I think it's, oh my God. It's, it's, it's an, yeah, listen, man. Let me tell you something. I was talking to my lawyer, and I was about to get a deal for my last project, Bernier, right? Mm -hmm. And he says, Eric, why are you signing the deal? I said, no, I just want to sign to a label. He said, why? I said, because I'm just, I know I'm going to sign to a label. He's like, he says, I'm, I don't have the right to tell you this, but if I was you, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I wouldn't do it either. Come on. He says, he says at this time of your career, why would you want to right. go do? I, I, but, but I said, I said, yo, the the, lay, I said, the, the deals aren't the same pimp deals back then. You know, I, I still own the majority of it. Right. He said, yeah, but why not own all of exactly. it? Exactly. Right? That's your pension, man. Right. So, so after a while, I started thinking, and my sister was like, Eric, I've been telling you this. I'm like, yeah, you have, but I, but you're my little sister, you know? <laughs> so, but after I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? Forget about it. And I, and I said, Grandma, I'm stepping out on faith with you. So if you up there with him, then you be like, that's my grandson. Right, right. <laughs> you, know, you know, whatever. And then when, when, when Bernie had dropped, it was like, you know, Nas, Shaq, Fat Joe. Forget about the fans. Right. My colleagues, Will Smith, you know, uh, you know, the Cameron. And then um it was just my colleagues after colleague after colleague was like, Did you hear Bernia? You know? Right. And then Nas was like, Did you hear three hundred E? And people was like, you know, whatever. And I'm like, Grandma, I love you. <laughs> you know? So it made, I'm getting chills thinking about it now because it made me excited. Like, yo. You got your motivation look back. To, look what I was able to do in the climate. Like, you know, I was able to do in the climate. And Nick was like, oh, yeah, he got the album of the year the sermon. And, 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 and I knew that in a way was I was almost getting ready to put myself back into a system, babe. Yeah. Babe. And then I would have been, I've been look, looking at people like, yeah, well, Eric, why did you go back? Right, right. You know, you gotta you know like, yourself. you know, whatever. <laughs> because the only one you went back for was for money. Were you chasing the money? Because you was only going back to get an advance. Yeah. Because it was about for nothing else. Yeah, but that's, so, but that's what it is nowadays, too. Yeah. Even yeah. To, up to today, young kids still have the mindset of, I have to be signed because that's a status thing, that I'm somewhere, then I get money. And it's, oh, it's, yeah. it's short-term yeah. money. It's, it's, exactly. They don't understand that's short, that's Same money for now. I want to be famous. Right. Sign the sign contract for the Instagram yeah. and then get shelved and have a debt from your yeah. fans because you're not being pushed because there's a bigger artist out there that they're pushing. And that I, I went to Def Jam. I went to Def Jam two years ago. Me and Rockwilder took out Def Jam and pay. They had like 25 acts on there. And even the big ones were gone. Like, right. like, 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 like Rihanna and all of them, they always had moved. But it was a whole bunch of artists we never heard yet. Yeah. They never came never out. Will, they're shelved. And then Paul gets fired. 
So now they yeah. now a new a new president said. So, but you're right. They all want to be famous. Yeah. For the, meanwhile, for the, for the shot. For the meanwhile, the, in, meanwhile, the internet along with YouTube. Right. Can blow you up. Right. You can do it yourself. You can just put some marketing my budget daughter, on, on there. I never heard these songs of people in my life. Daniel Caesar, her, Scissor, mm -hmm. Leon Bridges. I never, my daughter was playing these records three, four years ago yeah. on these artists. Yeah. From SoundCloud. Yeah. Exactly. They all blew up and they got deals later when somebody came and saw them. Yeah. And, and they made great contract deals because I'm already famous. Right. So I don't what need do you, you. For Yeah. Me? You're in a position to negotiate because yeah. they want you. That's what I tell people. You got to position yourself in the market where people come to you and you can make deals on your own terms. Don't be hey, knocking. Hey, that, that's what we forgot. That's the main part. Put yourself in the position yeah. so you can be able to call the shots. Exactly. That they want you. They need right. you. They, they want, you. want to right. ride on your success. So you have to. Yeah. Keep grinding with your team if you have one, and and put yourself in a position where people want you. They want to work with you. They want to deals with you. They want to throw sponsorships at you, and yeah. you can sit there and pick out of your email and see what's good for you, and and put it out on your own terms. Stay as long as you can, independent until the right deal presents itself. Because I'm not necessarily against a deal. It just has to be on your terms and on exactly. your own things. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It took me, it took me a like I'm saying, man, for me to have um, because right now again it took me a while to get licensing. Now now I got licensing right. on on different things, TV TV shows. I got a, I have a, a documentary coming. The EPMD Hit Squad series is coming. Oh cool. Um, um, you know I got sneakers. I got sh shirts in department stores. It took me thirty years. Yeah. You know, and it's like. God is always on time because right now at this particular time, he's showing me, okay, here's what your work did. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But you, you know, for, work though. You know? I, I, but me, I didn't even know. I was a kid. Yeah. So when I go back... <laughs> you okay? I got excited. The phone fell. Yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> We're getting too enthusiastic. I got to find it. I got to find it. Hold up. I got to find it. Oh, somebody says, don't forget to save this. Well, I'm back. I'm back. The phone fell. The phone fell. Yeah, yeah. Holy this is such a powerful conversation that the phone fell. <laughs> hey, Pay, so, so, so I didn't understand because I was young. Yeah. So when people tell me where was I when I was doing what the album, fuck the what the album, that's not you. When, when I was doing um the last, when I did, I did crossover and headbanger last on the EPMD album. Right, right before the breakup. Don't forget it was y'all y'all wouldn't know, fans would know, but it was shaky then. Like yeah. doing headbanger, me and Paz wasn't speaking. Right. Wow. <laughs> but we still made the record anyway. And we shot the video. And after the video, that's when we broke up. Because it got really heat, it got really out of control then. But when I go back and I look at the records, I don't remember. I don't remember. I was. That's crazy. I go back and I look at when people say, when I, and, and I Google and I be like, yo, I, I'm like, oh, oh, I know. If, if I go on my hallway and look at my walls, I'm like, holy shit. Where was I? Yeah. Like, I don't remember. Because I was, like you said, it, but it was normal to me, though, pay. Yeah. I was just doing what I thought was was normal to me to do. Yeah, you weren't even consciously doing stuff. You were just doing I what you had to do, and that's why you can't remember. That's exactly why you can't remember. Wow. Yeah. And, it, and you know, that happens not just... That, that's, that's a general fact. If you're not consciously doing things in your life, chances are you won't remember what you did at that time. I never heard like that. I've had, I have some memory loss. That's why I know. I went to therapy and then my therapist told me that's because you weren't conscious. You were just surviving. You were just doing what you needed to do. So you don't, if you don't do things consciously, you don't remember them. Hey, yo, sidebar. 
How is that? How is that guy? That them guys that we went to that produce? How are they? I know you were gonna ask about them. Oh, they're good. Yeah. And you were know, so certain. What up, yo? I, I play your beats all the time. At least like either once a month or we in here playing beats. I play yours a lot, and I play the girl. What's the girl? Oh, name? Nina. Yeah, I'm playing here too. Yeah. Nina is blowing up, yo. I, I'm working Stop with her on uh she did a whole bunch of well, she won some stuff in the past, the beat battle in, in, in Canada. And then she uh she's she's just she's going everywhere. She's going yeah. places. Nina is I, I I just anything that got something to do with us, I always remember because I gave you the coolest person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> but but as far as as far as um the production, yeah. I just felt like even to this day, when you talk about Australia, we're in phases. We talk about phases. Yeah. Talk, talk about London. We talk about you know Amsterdam and 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 um, and Africa. Um, I, these producers for some Germany, for some reason, is like, how in the hell are they that nice? <laughs> but they was able to keep the culture going. Yeah. yeah. And still do original hip hop, kick snare, the whole nine. And, and that's why I think that with, with, when when I was when I was come, when when we was coming across doing the track live thing, I felt that track live was important, right? Because I can bring back sampling with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel great about that. Now I know. So anybody sample on track live, you gotta it, again is is you you can clear a sample right there in front of you. We got two hundred two hundred thousand publishing things on there. We got stems. Um, you can. Um, you can make your own music yeah. and then upload your own beats for somebody can sample your stuff for you. Right. So check out Tracklist, people. So one of the things that I will never forget uh, as well is the fact that you actually came back to me, I think it was in an email, about using Nina's drums for a production you did for, I want to say, Mary. And, yes. And you came back to me asking for her information so you could, you know, do the paperwork and stuff. Now that to me was so much about integrity and 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 just, you know, transparency and and working together and wanting to see people win without just jacking yeah. your stuff. Because oh, there's boy. so many people in this industry you already know that will be doing that. And and it really I, I would love to work with uh, you tell her yo, Nina, <laughs> it's me and Pay live right now. Matter of fact, jump on. I know, and because because right? because in 2021, um, I got Amsterdam on my bill twice. As far as um, come, EP you gotta come back. No, 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 no. Listen, I saw. Listen, EPMD. Of course, everybody is not not quite sure yet, but right. the EPMD MOP is coming to Amsterdam for two days. Awesome. Um, so so it was October 1st, 2021, is in Paris Man, that's at the a festival. Year from now. <laughs> I, I I know, but 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 that's what they're saying. Yeah. As far as as far as the booking until until the now if the if the if the if the um yeah. the vaccine comes, then we'll be in London in May. Well, I don't know, man. I'm not getting no vaccine. I don't want no chips I, and stuff. I'm not getting it either. <laughs> I'm just saying that when everybody right. else takes it, then. Cause I'm um, not getting a damn thing. I already know you always hit me up when you come around, but you got to do it a, a little no, bit ahead. Answer them is, listen, man, you have no idea as far as my DM, as far as how many years it's been since we've been in Amsterdam. I don't know, and I called you too, like, yo, what, what, where's the, what happened to people coming back to Amsterdam? Like, well, and you're telling me you're back. Never, nobody came no more. Nobody comes. To, you told me nobody comes no more. Well, you know what? It's true. The last few years, it's, it's n well, at least none of the old school. Because I got to see, you know, I just saw Do It All In Here. I used to see these guys and you guys all the time until at some I know. point, no. you know, people just stopped coming. I saw, once I saw London, not, not taken from Europe, though, but Europe, was like sacred for us. <laughs> and then you get a they start doing the, they start doing the Uzis and ASAP Rockies and Ava. I'm like, oh no, the young boys got our money. You know what I mean? Because I never thought that Europe would, but it got to be like Eric. You got to understand these kids are young too, right. so they got to grow up gotta, to what yeah, they grow there's up. There's enough to. space for everyone because we still want to see the old school that we grew up with. So there's still enough audience. Oh, my shows was my shows was packed. 
um, like, 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 like that tour we had was insane. I love, and there was, I love Europe now because it's young and old together. Right. Yeah, it'd be mad young. Is that young not people. the same in the states? Nah, it, it, it's mostly in the states. The women are coming back out. <laughs> same with Europe. The women came back out last women year. Women already came Europe. out here. Yeah, but but it was it was a sword fight for a long time where it'd be just all <laughs> dudes in there, man. Like all dudes were. Oh, that's why you noticed me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, that, you right. But but you show up to I ain't gonna lie, you come to as I said for back then in the nineties, women were just as vocal. It used yeah, to be that's true. Crazy. That's true. Because hip hop was so new, so everybody was yeah. you know what I'm saying, it was something crazy. But 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 now girls are like they got kids, they got they got jobs, they home with the housewives, they home with the children, so I guess I'm an them. exception. I ain't got the children, so I can I still go out. But I'm old, I too. Know. I don't want to go out. I don't want to go yeah. outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but, but right now, you are a rare, rare, <laughs> rare, R-A-R-E, <laughs> rare breed that's able to move like that. And yeah. it's a blessing, because for some reason, God has something planned for you right. to be able to get up right. and move. I agree. You know? I believe that. I def I was talking to somebody about that as well. Um, Oprah. Like you, Oprah, people like that, who, you know, a lot of people who didn't have children. Yeah, that's true. I'm here to bring the knowledge to the people and to educate people. Yeah, but I'm, I'm glad that you came and, and, again, God's always on time, but you see that once this first happened, you didn't get on till now. Like, as far as it took you a minute to realize, yeah. listen, I'm a journalist. Journalism is on the web now. Like, what am I doing? Well, actually, I, I just didn't do journalism anymore because there's no, well, you know, to be no, fair, no, there's no. no money in it over here. Hey, don't forget, you, you tell me everything. I know what you told me before. You're like, Eric, I got to get me a job because there ain't no money here. I know. But now you get to use... Yeah. All content is money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm creating so content. All every days. time you create content, that is money. Yeah. And right now, you're in a place by yourself because you have your own continent of Amsterdam to be like, yo, I'm the queen of Amsterdam. Yeah. Plus, I got friends around this world, yeah, plus the hip hop world I know. So I'm asking all my friends, I need a favor. <laughs> Go on my live. Why not? That's, no, that wasn't even a favor to me. That's a favor to the audience, to the people, because your knowledge needs to be spread. You, yeah, but don't let don't let them people front on you. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Don't let them front on you like, yo, oh, you're acting like that now? <laughs> I, I, I want to see you know, people do that on here. Eric. I wanna, people do that shit to me. You know I've been I in this game see, for a long I time. I know, but I want to see all. I want to see Foul March, Mob Deep. I want to see Do It All. I want to see everybody who you spoke to, who know you, on this show. <laughs> See, the phone's falling again. But I'll tell you this, though. I have to make, I have to cut out this little um, piece where you're saying that and send it to them if they say no. Because <laughs> some people oh, don't no. be responding. But, you know, so nah, 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 there's nah. only a few people that I call my friends, and you're one of them. So, yeah, you, 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 you Listen, man. You don't want to be that person that on the way down, that pay is doing this to you. <laughs> because you, it's going to happen to you. One thing that, I, I, yo, it was, I was watching, um, I was watching Neo, and Neo said, no matter who you are, yeah, your time is going to come to where you're going to come down. Yeah. No, not saying you can't get back up, but that's not the point. Yeah. You're gonna come down. Yeah. So be very careful who you talk to, yeah. who, who you say hello to, who you say bye to, who you have conversation with, who you remember, yeah. how you acted, how you are. I can name some. That's why I'm saying they can't never tell me. I'm one of the most humblest people in the world. And I can vouch for myself because yeah. my mother raised me that way. Yeah. But for those people I who I know. Yeah. I know celebrities. I know stars who I produce them and I feel sorry for them. And I'd be like, oh my God. Yo, yo, your fame better not end. Cause you are a horrible person. 
in my head, not to them though. Yeah. But I'm like, oh my God, yeah, when yeah. it happens to you, no, he's gonna feel free for you. And I do have to shout out Amadeus, uh, who who's in here, and he's oh, also... I'm gonna tell you, that dude right there is another humble. Oh yeah, talented, one of the most yeah, but, humble people but I've ever met. Yeah. You know, talented human being. Yes. And I met him on another podcast for the first time. I did four talks with him, Eric, because he has so much okay. knowledge to give. Wow, yeah, he does. He yeah. does. He, he has does. so much to give out. Just like you, honestly, I don't think we can cover this in an hour. We may have to do another another talk. Hey, yo, it is, yo, this is, yo, I said Paige. Paige doesn't like her, 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 her natural, um, her, 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 her talk from where she's from. As far as Dutch. <laughs> and people are writing in Dutch. Pay. I never forgot you telling me. You said, Eric, I don't like how I sound when I talk in I Dutch. Hate you, know, you remember yeah. every freaking detail. Every, you know that. You, I, you, you know okay. Let, no, no, no. Let me tell all the people that are tuned in right now. Man, man, the first prize and it, stay. Oh. And don't go out with Pay because you look at Pay and her, her body is all slim. <laughs> she will eat you underneath the, underneath the restaurant. Stop. Tell it. <laughs> that <laughs> that restaurant incident when we went to the steakhouse. Yeah, I, I love that place. Forget your face when I started eating that steak. <laughs> no, 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 but the French fries and mayonnaise, mayonnaise yeah. that threw me out. But I'm like, oh my god, it's a great combination. But that's what potato salad is. Potato salad is mayonnaise and, and, and uh, potatoes. I didn't know that. <laughs> and he's not eating. I'm eating, and I'm like, what? Why are you looking at me? And he's, no, he's I've never seen like, that before. Women in the States don't do this. And I'm like, uh, that, that steak was big, babe. I was hungry. You said, go to the steak. Let's go to the steakhouse. I'm going to eat. I'm not going to order a salad at the steakhouse. No, Come on now. I'm hungry, yo. You know, we, it, it was, though. We didn't eat, though. We was hungry, though. Yeah. It was. That's true. And that's it true. wasn't even the best. But yeah, I, you, let me tell these people Eric has the memory of an elephant. This dude knows. All details from years and years. I don't even know how long ago this was, but I know. he remembers everything. I remember I was still supposed to get some turntables from you. I never. Oh, you know what? I know. Before. You know what? I forgot that you was going into that too. <laughs> Yo, Pay was get Pay was getting ready to be a DJ, and she wanted some twelve hundred, <laughs> and I had it. But what happened was, I'm like, I couldn't find them. I don't know who I gave them to. So now I'm like, yeah, Yo, yeah, I don't yeah. have twelve hundred. I don't have them. And I'm like, I know I had them. You still and I'm like, two oh, turntables. <laughs> yeah, no. But, but but you know what? I guess that profession came and went fast too, because you stopped stressing the turntables. I was like, yeah, because you know, I'm not gonna bother you for I'm not gonna beg you for some yeah, turntables. I, yeah, I had my own turntables at one point, so I was like, I Oh, you did If I gotta wait on Eric, I will never see the the, the I know, I know, I know. Okay. Okay, don't tell me that part. Is it that part it? Erase that. <laughs> Erase that. That's gone. Okay, so I have a couple minutes left, and there's like a million questions from people. So let me take a few okay. uh, questions from folks. Okay, your dream collaboration. What's your dream collaboration that you haven't done yet? Because you worked with everyone. Right now, well, right now, I'm still okay. This is Demarco 2037. Yes. Okay, Demarco. Yeah, my dream collaboration was. It happened back in 1991. I have an interview out there too with um with with the guy, and um and I talked about Nas. And when Nas was doing Illmatic, I had him, but I didn't take it seriously. So, um, then the studio I was at, Dave Rock and Roll, he just passed away about a year ago. His studio burned down, so I so we had unreleased Nas. Oh wow! That I did, that I did for Illmatic, but right now, before things go in for me, I want to do a Nas Eric Sermon record. Oh man, we would love to hear that one. Yeah. Yes, we would love to hear that one. Okay, there's a lot of lot of lot of uh, questions. Um, people are talking about a new EPMD record. Is that even in the works? That's a couple people we, that ask that. Well, yeah. me, me and Paris has a single on the new Dynamic Duo album that I'm doing. Okay. Um, I put a snippet online. It's called Test Me. And um, I don't know about a full LP, though, but this song got done. The song got done. Okay. But um, Dynamic Duo, Dynamic Duo is coming the, um, the top of next year. 
and I got new MOP, new Mob Deep, new UGK, oh my God. new A MJG, new Red Man and Method Man, new Helter Skelter, new Smith and Wesson, um, um, <laughs> um, new Cypress Hills, new Dog Pound, new Snoop and Nate Dog. Um, it's called Dynamic Duels. Well, and new noise by yeah. nature is just incredible. Well, Crazy that's album. What, that's what is definitely a question that I had. I know, I know. <laughs> you know what happened to Death Squad? Death Squad got taken over by Red and Meth. Once Red and Meth came, the right. Death Squad came out. That's and then right. Red and Meth came in next yeah. episode. That, that took away from every year to make one. That whole Red and Meth uh, phenomenon happened, so it wiped it away. We, we never came back to it. But do you want to? Is that something that could happen? Man, I, I would, man, I would, man, it's, it's, a, it's a dream. But again, <laughs> The plays that be, you know, it's just like it's a long story. You're you know, being I go, so again, politically. I, I do, you know, again, when you're dealing with people and yeah. other people who not don't have my heart. <laughs> no, I believe you. If you're in a group, it's always harder. You know, if you if yeah. you're solo, you can just make all the decisions. Um, Listen, yeah. nobody lasts as, as long as me and my crew has. If y'all notice, Snoop Dogg only made one album with Dre. Yeah. Nobody speaks about that. Yeah. The Chronic was the Chronic, but the solo album was only one album made by him. Right. That's interesting. Okay, there's another question about you and, uh, uh, well, there's a lot of versus questions. You know, the versus battles. Um, people are asking about you versus P. Rock, you versus Dr. Yeah. Dre. Who would you pick? Yeah. If I would pick what you, the last one you just said, I want Dre, Dre. but he's not going to do it. What I would do, Pete Rock for the culture because it, it'd be fun, right? You know, as far right. as for the culture. But who I wanted to do was the RZA. I felt that it was Ooh. Death Squad. Room. Yeah, it was. It was um, a producer rapper person, and we both come from two major groups. Um, the Wu Tang Clan definitely watched the Hit Squad. Yeah. So I just yeah. thought it, it would have it, it would have been something that would have been. A little bit more special. Not saying that him and Premier wasn't special, but right, I just right, thought no, that I me, you. I hear you. I, as, the, as yeah. artist, producer, and Death Squad woo already, I thought that would have been something special for me. Right. So, having worked with literally everybody, are there still people that you have on your bucket list to work with? Yeah, I mean um, Nas. Well, yeah, the Nas. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. Doing something for Dr. Dre. Um, I, I, as I a producer that, or as an artist, as a rapper? I think us collaboring as artist produce artist producer. Okay. Meaning that yeah. we co pro the beat and we both rock. Right. Would you produce the album if I was rapping? Yes. Okay, I, I need to. That's gonna be off, off the offline. The, thing. The, the, the reason why because it's you. You can be on there talking gibberish. <laughs> and what man? I still do. I still do ten beats. I am good, man. I'm good. It doesn't matter if you're good or not. I'm just gonna do it because, because you're my buddy. It's on my bucket list for this life. So I might have. I might have to record. Okay. Something soon, but I'll send you some stuff. We are using the sex appeal for just in case they don't sell. <laughs> you might. You might. You might have to. You have, might have to do like you know the. Megan Thee Stallion, you know. No, 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 Nicki no, Minaj. no, no. We go old school. We go old school. We not doing this I'm new school. I'm just saying. Stuff. You said you're, if you're not good, okay, I'm good, we gotta though. use. Don't worry about we gotta use some other shit that. to make it sell now. No, don't worry God about that. God damn it. Don't worry about that. I don't have the body like all these people, so let's not get a let's not get okay. away. <laughs> if, if your ass is able to go on the beach and put a picture on Instagram. That that means you can do this on 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 the video. Well, I'm not here for that. You know that. I'm not. I'm not here. For, I'm here for the culture. I'm just. I'm just saying, babe. Just saying. Well, I just you want to know if you were going to do my my album, and I'm 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 good with the yes. Okay. Um, what is your own favorite EPMD album? I think it would have to be um, Strictly Business. Well, and then I gotta say, Business as Usual, the third LP was. When EPMD got signed to Def Jam, it was a very, uh, uh, um, I guess we was, it was, we was, we was happy, but we was angry too, because um, our label had kind of jerked us, and if we didn't find out by Russell, right. we would never know him, 
And we was good to that label, you know, Sleeping Bag Records, that independent. They took care of us, but to find out that they was, they already gave us a bad contract, but damn, you was, you just kept fucking us, you know? So right. we just kind of, it's like well, that album sounds like that. Rampage, Manslaughter, you know, Gold Digger, um, you know, all, all those titles, you know, of, 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 of anger, the funk cover with guns and dogs pointed at us. So it was a whole, it was a mood right. at the time. The, the new kids say that it's the mood. The mood was that. So I just yeah. think that that third album was something special too. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so you were talking about your daughter playing all these new cats and stuff three years ago. Uh, who of the new generation singers or rappers would you want to work with? Um, I like I like Anderson Pop. I like I like J Cole. I like that's not even YBN. That new anymore. But yeah, for you, yeah, I like YBN. I like I, li I like the baby. The, the baby. I think that. Really? Him, make, him making that song during this time and the, the, that cop car, whatever, for him making that, I got respect for him. Right. You know, and, and, and Young Thug got to be one of the dopest melody record makers. And you can't say he's old too, but I mean, new too, but he is new. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, those people who are just creative is who I'm, who I'm like, who I like. So it's a bunch of them out there. People be like, Nah, I, I don't hate on all of them. I like who I who I name. I like them guys. So uh, somebody said Kendrick. That's an interesting one. Oh no, Kendrick Lamar is. But see, you, you won't say new like you said J Cole. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I didn't say Kendrick because you said J Cole. So I didn't say Kendrick, but of course Kendrick Lamar is special. Yeah, <laughs> Kendrick is really really dope. I think a production from you would be fire with him i i think that i think that the dr dre aspect of him being able to do that then why not come to me right you know like you know, i i think that it will be it will it will be special i would i would, uh, i would love to do i would love to do kanye west i would love to do like i just feel like right now my my goals right now is to take anybody who want my production right Right now, I am. Don't say I am that too loud, because there's people in here that want. I'm production. telling them right now, I'm 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 on the market of. Just at this part of my life is letting them experiment, and then me experimenting with all these new people right. who want to be a part of Eric Sermon. Yeah, that's it. All right. Well, we're coming to an end. So, people, I know there's like a million more questions in there. Um, I, we may do a second. What does that ring you wear? Huh? What's that? What does that ring you got on? What hand is it on? Oh Lord, this is jewelry. I got rings. I'm no. I'm saying. I mean, it looked like it was. It keeps you know, all the crazies away. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> you said you didn't have no crazies. I'm coming. I'm coming to an end. Uh, I want to ask you, what is one? a life motto or a mantra or advice that you want to give out before before we leave this this chat oh man it was um i like the parish old one though too if you hang out with nine broke friends you're gonna be the 10th one so i, I advise you to surround yourself around people right. who are doing my mom's once told me too she says Eric, who can you call if you need help? Right. And I looked around, I'm like, wow. She says, yeah, because everybody around you, you are their ceiling. Yeah. But you don't have a ceiling to go to. Yeah. I'm like, holy shit. I never really realized that. I never surrounded myself around nobody that had more so I can get to the other level. Right. So that's why I stopped at where I was at. I was fine with it, but was I fine with it? Right. You had to realize that. You had to reevaluate yes. your circle. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for this conversation. I'm getting the countdown. Um, I really appreciate Salute everybody. You. I appreciate everybody you. who was on. Thank you so much. Salute to all y'all. I love y'all to death. Thank you for watching us again. Check out Paige's podcast. Make sure that y'all go and, and, and go... Tell the artist that I named, because I can't yeah, name yeah, all yeah. of them that I know her, to go in there and give her a shot on, on this because she's great at what she does. Thank she you. she I see the the questions that she asks are great questions. She's very, very sociable with it. And this, you know what I'm saying? This 
have fun with that because she knows her hip hop. This is one girl who's been in this game for over 15 years who knows the hip hop, knows her artists, knows, knows, even knows her samples, knows her music. She knows it. I appreciate that so much. And I appreciate you. Know what I'm you. Saying too, babe? All these new people who just came in here and all of a sudden became these, these, you know, these, you that know the game. They don't. Right. That's true. I've so seen why some would you, interviews. So, why would, Trust so me. why would you let so why would you let them come and be better than you? They can't be better than me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. The, but other people need to realize that. I'm I'm great at what I do. I already know that. But um Yeah, but don't let them don't let them go ahead of you knowing that you've been here before them and know okay. that you know I'm not you worried. know more than them. I already I already made my mark, so I'm I got you. you know, I'm not worried about nobody else's career. So All right, those dog rap entertainment TV. I see you. Love y'all. Peace, Faye. All right. Talk to you later. Uh, Bye. Okay. Thanks everyone for watching and uh, this was really truly a lot of knowledge that was being given by Eric Sermon. So thanks again. Hope you tune in soon. This should be available on IGTV and uh, stay healthy and safe everyone. See you soon. Bye.